Welcome to my Wix email marketing tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to create an email, send one, and of course import contacts if needed. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get right on into it. So when you're on the main Wix dashboards, where we're going to be here is under the marketing section. And under this drop down, we have email marketing right here. So it might look a little bit different in case you haven't used it before, but nevertheless, what it's usually going to ask you is if you want to create a template, how you want to get up and running. What I want to show you here is just some more templates that we can utilize should you want to use them in the future. So let's click more templates. All right, and here are some of the Wix email templates. Right off the bat, we have some basic templates if you want to use these. For example, if you're just sending out an email that's very quick, maybe you want to send an offer or promotion to say something you're selling, something like this that's going to be basic is going to work fantastic. However, if you want a little bit more design, you can use some of these. But what I want to do is just go with a blank email just to show you how you can design it yourself. However, if you did want to go with some of these, like a monthly newsletter, feel free to either preview it or just use the template. I'm going to create my own email right here on the bottom. All right, and of course your email can be about absolutely anything. But for this specifically, let's just say I'm going to be sending an email to a list and the main goal of it is to send traffic to one of my YouTube videos where I can talk about a video that I created for a product review. All right, so we have easily create Pixar videos. That's gonna be the main catchy headline. We have an image right here. And of course, if we didn't wanna use that, we can delete it. There's gonna be the fact that we can duplicate it. We can crop it and move it up or down. Let's say we wanna change this image right here. All right, so I already have my logo here, but let's just say I wanna get one that's a little bit wider. I'm gonna to go to Upload Media and Upload from Computer. So it's gonna be uploading the file. There it is, and what I'm gonna do is just add to page. Great, and I think that looks fantastic. From there on out, what we can do is add our email here, and what I'm gonna to do to make my life easier, just quickly get one from ChatGPT, give me a second. All right, and the same thing when we were creating our headline here, what I'm gonna do is just get rid of this. I'm gonna paste it in and then edit it a little. All right, and so here it is. You'll notice everything is going to be in the center. And what we can do is just highlight all of it. So I'm just gonna do Control and A. And if we go over here, we have styles for alignment. Let's move it on over to the left. I think that looks a lot better. Plus we can change around the font and the font size if needed, but I'm just gonna keep it there. Now, of course, if we wanted to add a link, so discover the mag magic here, I'd probably do something like click here to discover the magic. Okay, I like actually giving a call to action, like, you know, click this link, click here to watch it, so on and so forth. And then once again, Watch the magic unfold by clicking here. Give me one moment, I'm just gonna link to the video. All right, so if you're curious about how we can add a link, what we wanna do is go here. We're gonna, of course, we're gonna highlight this like that. And if you notice right here, this is gonna be the link section. So I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna paste it in and do apply. Perfect. And what we can actually do, you'll notice it's light blue. Maybe you want to make that a little bit darker blue. We can go to the color section right here and we can make it say this color. There, I think that looks a lot better, right? So watch the magic unfold by clicking here. Once again, let's go to our link. Let's paste it in and apply. And same thing, now that we already have it highlighted, let's go to text color and do blue. Okay, if we want to bold something, I like bolding the PS in my name, just something I do for a style factor. Uh, I'm not going too crazy on like how good or bad this email is. Chat GPT just quickly created it. Let's look at some other things here. We have our image, so anything that we do want to add in, we can simply drag and drop. I'm going to do it very quickly. Okay, that would be our image. I'm just going to click on X there because we don't need that. There's also the ability to just add a logo that way, but let's say we want to add a video aspect here, okay? So someone can actually just watch it right here if needed. So let's add the video in, and we can do my video uploads, or we can just do straight to YouTube, which is what I have. I'm going to paste that link in right here once again, the same one, and apply. Okay, so we have this, we have this. I could probably just delete this as well, right? I think it looks better kind of like that. And that's going to be the email. We also have a button here, so if we wanted to change this, we can click on the button button text, click here to watch the review. Okay, where does it go to? Once again, we're gonna go to our URL. You know, this is gonna be your URL, obviously. This is just an example where I'm going to my YouTube page. Okay, let's do apply. 
And if you'll notice at the bottom, we have a section here we can click on this, and we have some few things. Like if you upgraded, you can remove the Wix branding. You can show your address. Probably want to do that for like can spam. That's going to be show address, show number. Maybe you don't want your phone number. You can remove that. We have social links. You can keep those, or you can just remove them like that if needed. And of course, you have your website, wherever it's going to be, you can link to that. Now, ideally, if you're sending an email and you know you're already sending them to your website, you probably don't need that. You know, it's it's really up to you. Not the biggest deal in the world, but those are some things that you can utilize and of course click on apply. Now there are going to be a few other things that I quickly want to go through here. There's some themes that you can change around if needed based upon how they look. So if you click on one of these, let's just say we want to go with this. All right, I'm going to go back to light because I think that looks better. Okay, there is basic as well. I think it was one of those, right? I think light looks the best, but in case you wanted to use some of the other ones like tech, Eh, I think this is the best. Oops, this right here. So I'm going to go with that. There's also the background in case you did want to change that up. And of course, with AI emails, this is going to be something if you upgrade and want AI to write it for you. But in case you want an alternative, I just use ChatGPT personally for this example. That is also an option for you. So that's going to be the main gist of actually creating and setting up your email. That's most of the important things like choosing a template, adding images, videos, links, headlines, and a few other buttons if needed. Let's click on next at the top right. All right, so here's gonna be the section where we could add recipients. Of course, you can just simply add them there like an email address. Always make sure that you have permission to send it. Or if you have a good amount of contacts, you can also import them, which I'm gonna show you how to do right here. So simply click on import contacts. And as it says right here, be sure your contacts subscribe to your marketing emails. Before you import, check that your list wasn't purchased and that your contacts gave you permission to email them. So once again, just reiterating that, very important. And of course, continue to import. All right, so there's two ways to do this here. We have a CSV file and a Gmail account. Most likely, you're probably gonna to wanna to go with a CSV file because if you've been collecting leads, that's usually how you're gonna be doing that. So what you wanna do is click on Get Started. Okay, so make sure you have a CSV file. And of course, if you add the fields in it, like first name, email, and so on and so forth, if you're just using email, make sure you just have a column with email and then under are gonna be the emails. I'll actually show you an example right now. All right, so as you can see, there's a column right here. I just put email, I just put mine as an example. And then like the next email would go here and here and here and here and so on and so forth, okay? So then you wanna make sure you save it as a .csv file. Let's go back, okay? So we have that, let's click on next. And what I'm gonna do is just browse. I'm gonna get that file and I'm gonna upload it here. All right, and what I'm gonna do is mark as email subscribers, meaning that they are contacts who agreed to be added to your mailing list before marking them as subscribers and sending email campaigns. Make sure they've agreed to receive emails. In this case, I'm just using my own email, okay? Just so that it's I'm not invading anyone's privacy, but obviously make sure you can check that off and do next. Loading, please wait. Great, and so we wanna match this up. So we have the email, email, like this is gonna be the email, that's great, so let's do next. Okay, and what you can do is add a label if needed. Like right now it just says list.csv, but let's say you had a, a Wix website and you collected leads related to your specific niche, you could always just give it a name. This is gonna be helpful if you're doing a lot of imports and say some of the imports are gonna be either in different subjects, different brands, or different niches. But for this example, I'm just gonna keep it how it is and do import. All right, so here we are. As you can see, we just uploaded the list.csv. This is another reason why you might want to give it a different name. So if you have a lot of imports to do, you can say like, this is going to be the marketing island one. The other one is going to be for like the TikTok or this is going to be for Instagram. So let's check this one off. And what we want to do is click on next. All right, so we know it's only going to be going to one person. We have our sender name and our reply to email. You can always change that around if needed. Last but not least is going to be our subject line. So I'm going to click on edit. And I'm gonna paste that in. Easily create Pixar style 3D videos, yes really. And we have preview text. So it says, the text appears in people's inbox just after the subject line. Preview and test it to see how it looks. So this is something that adds a little bit more. So if this says easily create Pixar 3D videos, yes really, you could say something like, all right, so it's a little bit extra in my opinion. They get to see the subject line and they have a little bit more to entice them to obviously click on your email. I'm gonna click save here. And last but not least, I'm not gonna send it, but this is how it's done. Simply click on the send now button. You can send a test email if you like, but if you are good to go, you can schedule or simply click on send now and you, my friend, are gonna be good to go. That's gonna conclude this Wix email marketing tutorial. Like I said, pretty straightforward overall. I showed you how you to get to the actual email marketing section, creating a template or using a template, starting from scratch. Then of course, inside the email, how we can drag and drop things in there, whether it's gonna be text, 
logos, pictures, images, videos, and then of course importing contacts, changing around their subject lines, and finally sending out our emails. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. My name is James, thank you so much for watching this week's tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.